Hello, Fire Sign Aries. How are you doing today? I hope that everything's going amazing for you, that you're manifesting good things for yourself, that you're using that fire sign passion in life and living life to the fullest. We're going to do a quick shuffle here and then we'll jump right into your reading, Aries. I hope that this week has been very good for you and that uh, you enjoy your weekend. Okay, let's get into this reading here. Spirit, what kind of guidance do you have to offer Aries? Fire sign Aries, Spirit. What guidance do we have for Aries? The Ace of Cups. Fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful abundance. Spirit, what else do we have for Aries? Not quite, but Ten of Swords, that did roll over, so there could be something going on. A lot of, uh, a lot of wands you're carrying around here. Okay, let's get back to it. Spirit, we have another card. Oh, two. Oh, actually three. All right, let's see what we have here, Aries. The Three of Pentacles. Oh, working, working here, working on something. Oh. And the Three of Swords and the Hangman. And on bottom here, we have the Two of Pentacles. All right, let's jump right into this reading here, Aries. So this is all going to start with the Hangman, the current life path that you find yourself on. And the Hangman, as you can see, is propped upon almost a crucifix-like stand, upside down. And his hands are bound behind him, which means that, that the hangman is stuck in this position. But if you look down at his face, you'll notice that he doesn't seem to be too upset. He's not really grimacing or anything like that. So what this indicates is that even though in his stuck position, he has become comfortable. And the glow about his head indicates that that stuck position has actually given him new insight and new perception. And the hangman sits right here on the life path in between Spear 8 Hod, which represents our mental body, journeying to up the tree of life, Spear 5, Jabora. And Jabora represents our sense of severity. So now you can come to understand why the hangman falls here in this particular space on the Kabbalic Tree of Life. Following that, we're going to take a look at the Three of Swords here. Now, swords indicate actions, decisions, choices. The sword, the sword is like how a wand is your idea. The sword would represent the action upon that idea. And note that it has sharp edges as well. It is an instrument of action. Now, the Three of Swords particularly has three swords going through a heart. Now, this could indicate some kind of heartbreak or maybe some kind of emotional damage that's taken place. And the Three of Swords falls on the tree of life up here in this upper realm on spear three, Bana. And Bana represents the dark goddess of formation, receptivity. Um, this, this column here that you're on right now is the left-hand column of the tree of life, which it really represents our um, strength, our severity, and the material world. It also is representative of the uh, Divine Feminine. Now moving on from the Three of Swords, we had the Three of Pentacles. Another three here. So there's absolutely something going on in between this heartache, this handman, or hangman position, and then putting in some work. Um, 
And that's what the Three of Pentacles is all about. Um, as you can see, there's a person who's chiseling away and sculpting on a statue. And up above the statue, there are three pentacles. And down below, there are two, two other men who seem to be observing and conversing about the person's work. So maybe, maybe there's something to do with, with the work that's caused some kind of heartache here. And I feel like it's given you a, a new perception with this hangman life path. So maybe things at work aren't going too well, quite possibly, Aries. So that also rests right here with the Three of Swords on Spear Three, Bana, the Dark Goddess of Formation. Now, following that, we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, if you look at the Two of Pentacles, you'll notice that's a person that's balancing two pentacles. But, at the same time, he doesn't seem to be too worried about it. He's even walking while he's doing it. And there's an infinity symbol that traces around the pentacles, which indicates harmony. So, I feel like even though you're in this hangman position with this uh, work-related heartache that's going on, I feel like you're balance, balancing it really well. I feel like uh, that's the whole point of the hangman journey, is uh, to be in these uncomfortable places, so that way we can rethink, um, reprogram ourselves, reset new perceptions, and then we can grow internally. And the Two of Pentacles rests right here on Spear 2, Chakma. And Chakma represents the light energy. It's divine light energy. It, it also represents the uh, divine masculine. And um, this, this pillar here on the right side of the Kabbalic Tree of Life is um, noted for that uh, fire sign. So that's very fitting for you, Aries. And then finally here, we had the Ace of Cups. Now this Ace of Cups, as you can see, there's a dove flying into the cup. And doves represent purity. They also represent initiation or ascension. But as you can see, this dove is descending into a cup of abundance. And that cup is overflowing. And there's also a cracker in the uh, dove's mouth. And if you're familiar with Catholic practices, this is a representation of a sacrifice of the body. So this is, um, this is beautiful, Aries. I feel like once you fully come out of this hangman life journey position, that you're going to be filled with massive abundance. And this Ace of Cups sits up here in the upper realm of the Kabbalic Tree of Life. And this, let's, let's tie this together real quick. This upper realm represents the, the cosmic realm on the Kabbalic Tree of Life. And as you can see with this Ace of Cups, there's a hand coming out of the clouds offering the cup. And that is the all. That's the divine source. So there's, if you keep on this life path and keep doing this, this growing here in this hangman position, uh, Aries, there's something beautiful waiting for you. Underneath that other bottom card, we had the six of cups. And this is uh, children, which is like unconditional love, flowers, which represent, be pardon me, beauty and cups of abundance. I mean, this is just a, when I see this card, my intuition just screams beauty and love. I mean, it's just, it feels peaceful as well. There's something really great waiting for you here. And that six of cups is tied to spear six, Tephra. Now, Tephra represents our divine consciousness. Our capability towards compassion and connection and understanding. It's really embracing that divine source. 
Let's get some clarification cards here from the Oso deck. And um, let's go a little bit deeper into this reading, Aries. I think this is a beautiful read. It is a beautiful read. We'll go ahead and cut real quick, Aries. Yeah, the hangman position, although it can be uncomfortable at the same time, that's how we grow. It really is how we grow. So, Spirit, can we have three clarification cards for Aries here, please? Help them, give them guidance on this hangman life path. All right, we have our first one here. New vision. This is so fitting with this hangman life path that you're on here, Aries. Can we have two more cards, please, for Aries? Spirit. And the next card that we have, Aries. Projections. And that's, that's really what we do when we're in this hangman position. This is, uh, this is fantastic here, Aries. Great read. Spirit, one more card for Aries, please. One more card. Oh, there we go. We are the world. Beautiful card, Aries. I mean, that's just a beautiful card. Let's see what we have on bottom here. The source. This is a beautiful read, Aries. I can't wait to get into these clarification cards. Let's jump right into it. So, I believe this, my intuition is just screaming at me that this Three of Swords, this heartache, I feel like this work-related situation has something to do with some kind of projection. Like maybe somebody's projecting their troubles onto you or maybe their troubled emotion onto you or but I feel that's where this is coming in there's some projection there somewhere but I also feel like this hangman life path is going to give you new vision Aries and new vision is I mean it's invaluable you, you turn into a new person when this takes place Aries Beautiful card. Beautiful colors, too. And then I believe that new vision. See? Coupled. With that Ace of Cups. That Six of Cups. And this We Are the World card here. This is beautiful. This is uh, not just inner abundance. But this is growing in divine connection as well, Aries. This is beautiful. I absolutely love this read. And then on bottom we had the source. The source, Aries. That divine connection where all love and compassion come from. The source. Beautiful card. And underneath that was rebirth. And that's what exactly what takes place in this hand, hangman position, Aries, is rebirth. Beautiful read, Aries. Underneath that, maturity. Going with the flow. Going with the flow, Aries, to get to work your way through this three of swords. That heartache. And then we have the Fool. A new beginning, Aries. A new beginning's waiting for you in this situation. Beautiful read, Aries. Just, just beautiful. I love it. Underneath that, and I think this is, oh yeah, here, these next two cards. I think this has to do with that heartache. I believe it absolutely has to do with that heartache. Mind. Exhaustion. Conditioning. Yeah, that's definitely that heartache, Aries. And then beneath that is kind of the answer. The source.
consciousness growing closer to that divine source and working on that Christ consciousness of Spear 6 Tepeth. Grow in it. I think I think this is this this ace of cups, this abundance. That inner abundance, that dove, I mean just look at this. Doesn't this just scream spirituality? Something's calling you to to try and get a little closer to that divine source, I feel, Aries. And I think once you come out the other end, you're going to see the comparison of who you were and who you are right then. And, and I think that you're just going to be so thrilled. So thrilled, Aries. Let's pull an Archangel Michael card for you and we'll close out the reading. This is a beautiful reading, Aries. I mean, I'm just... This kind of growth, you know, when it comes to the hangman life journey, achieving that new perception, becoming a, a new person, it, it's priceless. It really is. Spirit, can we have one Archangel Michael card for Aries, please, for guidance? One Archangel Michael card for Aries, please. Oh, whoa, we got two. Let's see what two we have here, Aries. All right. First, we have have confidence. Have confidence, Aries. Have confidence in yourself. My prayer, Archangel Michael, please lead me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with that divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. And I think that's what that's what you need right now to get through that three of swords, Aries. You need that confidence, that divine security. And, and I believe you're going to get it. Hold on to that prayer, Aries. And then next we had go forward fearlessly. I mean, this is just such a an amazing read right now. Let's read this. My prayer. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. What's that life's purpose, Aries? Let me ask you this. Have you ever... Have you ever felt called to take on a more spiritual journey in life? Because this it's all over this read here. Have confidence, Aries. Go forth fearlessly. That cup of abundance is right up ahead. Follow that divine consciousness, the one that only comes from the all, the source. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close it out there, Aries. This was a beautiful read. I mean, so much good stuff happening for you. Spiritual growth. You're going to pull through this Three of Swords. I mean, we all go through moments like that in life. And I think you're just going to do, I think you're going to do awesome. All right, Aries. You walk in peace, harmony, faith, balance. Work on that divine connection. And I'll see you in the next reading. Stay blessed, Aries. And thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye now.